Lake Victoria, Africa. It's the stuff of science fiction. In the distance, it looks like a black cloud of smoke hundreds of feet tall. But as the wind blows this dark mass toward shore, a closer look reveals horror. It's no cloud, it's flies. A densely packed horde of billions, lake flies. There's no escape. The sheer numbers are so immense, the flies can blot out the sun. How did this airborne scourge start? A different invasive species raging out of control. In the 1950s, an invasive fish called the Nile perch was introduced into the lake and began to wipe out many other fish species that eat fly larvae. The result? Flies reproducing in record numbers. The adult flies ride the wind in huge mating clouds, a horrific breeding swarm that strikes every few months. You know, they pretty much lay all their eggs at the same time. You know, they virtually hatch at the same time, then they mature, then they, they come out of the water basically at the same time. For the villagers living around the lake, the ominous clouds are agony, a choking blizzard that clogs anything in its path. In addition to spoiling food, these flies can cause an allergic reaction if inhaled. Fishermen have been known to suffocate or choke to death from breathing in too many flies. And the struggle for survival is ongoing. The deadly swarms can occur each month typically after the new moon. Until the ecosystem's balance is restored, villagers are doing their best to cope, but they pray for a stop to the horror of living under the ultimate swarm cloud. Real stories. Humans are fascinated by these wild animals. Real animals. Really freaky. Two faces seem to develop on one head. When man and animal are this bizarre. How do you know you don't like it if you've never even tried one? The truth is weirder than fiction. They cut the snake open and there inside was the human. Weird, true and freaky. Only on Animal Planet.